Alrighty, well, got her about ready to pull out. Got the transmission supported by Jack. I think everything disconnected. Let the H pop out. Cross member and everything. So, about ready to get this uh, hoist over here and get her jacked up. Get her out. Got a little mess going on here. I managed to dump some training fluid. This is the new hoist I got. Pretty damn cheap. I gotta pay a hundred bucks for. And I got me a cheap engine stand. Should do the job. Got a little mess going on in here. But well, I am about ready to yank this motor out. I think I'm gonna wait until my buddy gets here. And give me a hand with it. I'm exhausted. But I need to run to the store. Or the all parts store. I gotta get me a tool. See if I can get those lines off. Then that should be it. Get everything tucked back all out of the way, all the wiring. And hook her up and go. So we got the motor on the stand. Just gonna start stripping her down. Take the headers off. I'm gonna keep the headers, keep the valve covers, the intake. I'm gonna keep the injectors. That's about it on the motor oil pan. Here's the clutch over. They didn't have anything special. This is a regular factory 10 half inch clutch. Pretty worn down. I don't know if it's me or not. Look, uh, looks like it's got it gotten hot in a few places. I'm not sure how well the camera's picking that up. And this is what it looks. Here's the flywheel. I'll show you what it looks like. Let me know if this flywheel is savable or not. If I, need, if I can get it. Um, Uh, like surfaced or machined, whatever, but it looks like it's it's gotten hot too. So I mean, the teeth look good on it, and it is.
is a 58 ounce flywheel. They have this on a, a late model restoration. I think for like 119, 120 bucks, something like that. So I don't know. I'll be just, I'm just better off just buying a brand new one and not even worry about it. So it looks looks like it's gotten hot. Holy hot. All the heat, uh, heat marks, we want to call it. I'm not a pro at this, though. I'm just not real sure. I'm just better off just buying a brand new one. Alright, so that's it. I'm going to make another video on... Start stripping this down. When I did the compression test. On these two cylinders, so low. And the rest of them, rest of them are throwing around 130, I think, PS, uh, pounds. And these were only doing about, these were only doing about 90 to 100. And this is how we're, you can hear it uh, ticking. It's not like it was coming from up here, from the motor. So I guess I'm not for sure. So, but anyways, I'm gonna go in this video here. This is already getting too long. Should we get our flywheel or uh, see if I can get that machined? And uh, that's about it. I need to pull the oil pan off. Look at the oil, oil pump. Let's see if it's bad. So I don't know. I think I might just buy a new block anyway. So everything I'll put together because I mean, I'm not a pro at this. So kind of learning uh, learning as I go so alrighty I'll see y'all in the next video